up, my fellow fragrance lovers? Today I am uh, doing another subscriber's request brought to us by RMA Trang, Arma Trang, something like that. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But uh, his request was Versace's The Dreamer, brought to us back in 1996. Now, I originally picked this up probably about four months ago. I was real excited to get it because of all the rave reviews on it, you know, and uh, picked it up and I got it and I took a whiff of it and <clears throat> I did not like it at all. I thought it was pretty disgusting. I didn't know what the heck everybody was talking about. Um, so I pretty much have left it alone for four months and then uh, Armatrang sent me uh, a PM asking me to do this and I thought, you know what, let's do it. So I started wearing it again and that first time I put it on, I was kind of, I was kind of amazed. It's funny how things can change because I actually kind of liked it. And I actually kind of liked it right off the bat, right off the top. Um, but with that in mind, let's, uh, let's get to the notes and see how this thing did. In this, we have got juniper, lily, iris, tobacco, amber, and tarragon. Now, as for me, what I get out of this, right at the top, it is a powdery, floral, sweet scent. And it's a sharp kind of sweet. I don't consider this fragrance smooth whatsoever at all. It, uh, it'll wake you up. Now, a lot of people out there say that uh, the top is kind of offending, um, but I actually kind of like the top. It's verging on being offending, though. You know, I can see that, but I actually kind of enjoy it now. I don't know why things changed, but I kind of like it now. It is kind of synthetic. It's not as natural as other things that I've come across lately, but I still kind of enjoy it. I still think it's all right. Now, um, this fragrance has got a big problem with me and my skin, though. It fades, and it fades fast. Um, it just, it just kind of sucks. Like, within 10, 15 minutes, you really got to get close to smell this on my skin. And I don't get this amazing dry down that everyone's talking about, you know. I, I don't get any tobacco out of it. It pretty much stays that powdery, sweet floral the whole time. Just getting really, really light and really faint. And I maybe, if I'm lucky, get six hours out of it. But those last two hours, there's barely nothing there. She's just hanging on. Um, so that's kind of disappointing. I was kind of excited again when I first took a whiff and was like, you know what, I kind of like this. But, uh, you know, it just doesn't do anything on my skin. It just fades and it's just kind of pointless for me. Now, as far as that dry down too, people talking about the tobacco in there, I don't see that. I don't get that, you know, whatsoever. It sucks because I feel like I'm missing out on something. but. Uh, but I don't get that magnificent dry down that everyone's always talking about. It just stays pretty linear and gets pretty quiet. Now, as far as what the women at work think, it didn't do too well. Versace's The Dreamer wasn't a big hit. Only maybe a couple of women liked it, and it was just a like. It wasn't anything, you know, out of this world for them at all. They just thought it was all right. Now, as far as some of the comments I got, you know, I got baby powder. I got... Uh, smelled like a cleaning product. Um, I got it smells like an old man and of course I got a feminine which I guess I can kind of see. It kind of reminds me of being a feminine scent. Um, and as far as uh, like the whole smells like an open pack of cigarettes because I've read a lot of reviews where people say that. Now I used to be a smoker. haven't smoked for maybe about four or five years now and uh, so I really can't remember what an open pack of cigarettes smells like. But just so happens, a lady was going on her break, so I got two for one. I got her to take a whiff of the fragrance, which she was one of them that said it uh, smelled all right. And I noticed she was going out for a smoke break. And I said, let me see that pack of cigarettes. Let's open that sucker up and smell, because I told her about it. And uh, I took a whiff, and no way. No way does it smell like an open pack of cigarettes. Not at all. You know, Versace's Dreamer is way better smelling than an open pack of cigarettes. Ugh. You know? And she pretty much said the exact same thing, too. She did not see it whatsoever. 
So that's my take on it. But uh, this one, not a panty dropper in my world whatsoever. None of the women really cared for it. So uh, that's how it goes. All right, guys, now it is time to find out what my lady thinks of the dreamer. Now, I got a little visitor here because we got some needy people that need to be held. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's for sure. I need your tongue in my face. Yeah, I don't really care for that one too much. Doesn't really do anything for me. No? No. Not a panty dropper? Definitely not a panty dropper. No. No, not for sure. Not even, not even like getting my foot out of my pants. No, that's okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, see, it doesn't even work with her, guys. I don't know. This one in my world is definitely not too dreamy. Mm -mm. No? no. This one can go away. We've had enough. Will you like it? Well, maybe I'll give it to you. You can wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want a copper, huh? You like it? Ah, you don't care. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, that's my take on the Dreamer. It uh, didn't really work too well for me, but I guess a lot of people out there it has. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Yeah, bye.